building and any business in the center of venture capital. I am Alex Edmonds. On the internet, people call me Supreme Rum Ham. And this is the Building and Indie Business Podcast. Okay, so today I'm going to be discussing how I have been growing, or like the methods I've been using to grow the Building and Indie Business email list because my goal for this year is to grow the email list to 20. So uh, I'm going to be talking about the methods I've been using to grow the email list. Even though so far as of March 2020, I've only gotten one new subscriber. Thank you, Josh. Josh Rosen of Pools. Um, He is that one subscriber. So um, I'm going to be talking about the email list, what I've been doing. Um, So let's get into it. So the first thing I did was I created a survey. And in that survey, I had one question that said, do you know there's an email list? Um, Because previously, um, the way... I went about the email list was that I just put it in the show notes. But then on Twitter, I casually did a survey. Or no, I asked a question. I did a poll. They call it a poll. And I said, do you read the show notes of podcasts? And it was like 50-50, yes and no. So, and then some people said sometimes. But I, I didn't make that an option. So, That means 50% are not reading the show notes. So that means 50% of the people don't know that there's an email list. So I put it in the survey just to like bring awareness to the the email list. I don't subscribe to many podcast email lists, but I subscribe to one, maybe two, maybe three. And I just, I don't even read them. I just like, I see the episode title and the subject line, and if I'm interested in it, I'll go listen to it. Um, It's a very technical podcast, so I don't listen every episode, that's why. So yeah. Um, And then another thing I did, um, oh, uh, Josh was the one who uh, signed up through the survey. So again, thanks, Josh. Um, And then another thing I did, was um, I started treating the email list like a newsletter because it technically is, right? So I promoted it like a newsletter. I put it, I added it to a bunch of newsletter directories and that way I can get organic traffic to the, um, the newsletter, newsletter in quotes, and get people to sign up from the directory. And especially because... The people at the um, that are looking at the directories, they um, they would never sign up, or no, they would never hear my podcast, right? Um, because that's that's a different source of traffic for me, right? So these these people are looking to read newsletters, and then they're not looking for podcasts, right? So me treating the news the the email list like a newsletter is another source of traffic. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. And then I'm just promoting it like a, like a newsletter. I'm doing that stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm doing, yeah. Um, yes. So I've been thinking about like also doing, creating a lead magnet for the email list um and it has to be something downloadable like a pdf or maybe since the i could get organic traffic from google so then i'd have to create like a calculator or something but then like what calculator would i maybe an mmr calculator i don't know yeah that's something to think about too okay and then I promote the email list with every episode. So um, 
I do buy me a coffee, right? I create a buy me a coffee post for every uh, podcast episode just to get that mm-hmm. SEO juice, right? And so in that, I put the description of the episode, a link to the episode page, um, a link to revenue research, and then I put a link to the email list as well. So I do that for Buy Me a Coffee and Patreon. And then there's social media. Um, so for social media, what I do is I do it on Twitter. I don't use any other social media. Um, I used to do it on Reddit, but that's not that's not my point right now. So I used to do a tweet thread of like the main points of the episode. And then at the end of the episode... Um, I would put a link to the episode page. Yeah, I would put a link to the episode page. And the episode page has a form at the top to sign up for the email list. And the form at the bottom to sign up for the email list. So I'm trying to get people to click on it. And then, you know, sign up for the email list. Okay. Um, yeah, so every episode page has two forms at the top and at the bottom. I used to hide them actually. So they used to be, um, exit and bottom forms. So when, um, when you went to the page, um, and you'd scroll to the very bottom, then the, then the bottom form would pop out. Right, so then you'd be surprised and you'd be like, hey, what's this form? Let me sign up for it. Um, I don't know if that actually worked, so I put it, I just unhit it, so that way you see it all the time, and maybe if you're reading to the very bottom of the page, you'd sign up. And then the top form was an exit form, so every time you try to exit the page, it'd pop up. So... I unhid that as well, just, you know, because, because, um, just to see if it convert better. I don't know if it has or not. uh, I need to research that. Yeah, I need to figure out where those, the original people found my stuff. So yeah, that's, that's what I used to do. And then... Um, I created a subscribe page on the for the website, and I put that link at the top of every page. And that that form does something called autofocus. So, um, in the input box, when you click on the subscribe page, and then you go there, um, it the the box. The input box auto focuses. So as soon as someone clicks on the page, um, what happens? Oh yeah, as soon as someone clicks on the page, it goes to that. Their cursor goes to that input box, so they don't have to actually click on it to um to sign up. They just have to type in their email and click enter. Um, I know someone who did this and they got some subscribers. Um, but this is the only page I do it on. Um, I think I do it on the home page too, but I'm not sure. I, I can check. Actually, do you want to check right now? Um, let, yeah, let's just check. Check for fun. Um, it's this one. And then I go to index. You know, I'm getting really casual with the podcast when I'm like pulling out my... I'm changing tabs and stuff like that. So that's good for me. Um, and then we're just going to put autofocus. Auto... Uh, no, I didn't put autofocus on the first page. Okay. So, yeah, now we know. And then what I would like to do is I would like to direct message some of my listeners and um, ask them to s- subscribe directly. I've done this for a few people, like one or two. But then again, I don't know who my listeners are. So how can I DM them and ask them to subscribe to the email list? Right? So that is, that's something. 
I, I, I've tried it. Um, I asked Brendan to subscribe, right? So I, I asked him. I know he listens. I know he's listening right now. Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> okay. So then let's talk about why. Why do I want to grow the email list? Why, why do you ask? Like, you're a podcast, Alex. Why do you want the email list to grow? Here's why. Um, growing the email list will grow the download numbers and get more people listening, right? So, um, I, right? So, it's like, people, at one point, I was subscribed to 80 podcasts. I had 80 podcasts in my podcast player. That, that's not the case anymore. But, you know, I'm liable to miss a new episode and not not listen to it or not download it, right? But if I'm part of the email list, um, I can see that they have a new episode and then click on it in my favorite, if there's a link to the bottom to my favorite podcast player, and then start listening to it. So it creates someone who like it creates a more consistent listener right and it it keeps the download number steady so I can focus on you know growing the podcast instead of worrying about like oh are my new or are my current subscribers listening to the um to the podcast right and then I'm able to track um like true fans right so I there's this case of a thousand true fans right that's a belief um and I think that's someone who subscribes to a podcast email list you know they might be a true fan so I can keep track of that number right and then also it allows me to get to know my subscribers I have like database of people who really like my my podcast right so I can start talking to them I could take their email and I can email them directly and be like hey is there anything you want to see is there anything um I should add do you want to come on the podcast and like talk about something anything related um so it it helped me improve the podcast because I've always wanted to talk to listeners. I just, you can't with the podcast. Um, there's no like app that says, hey, these are all your listeners. Go talk to them. That's not the case. It, for me now, my listeners are just numbers, right? It's, oh, this, this episode got 50 downloads. This episode got 60 downloads. Who's downloading it? You don't know. So I think it'd be great to uh, to grow the email list to get to know people, right? And then, you know, it'd be fun. Maybe it, it, it would 100% improve the podcast. At least I think. I, I know. I know for a fact. Because when you talk to users, things get better, um, right? And that's why I created all those surveys. That's why I created the one for revenue research that's why I created the one for um, the podcast, right? And so, yeah. And that's another thing I did is when I created the survey, I asked for people's email list at, or email at the very last page. And I made it optional. So, like, you can still fill out the survey with without giving me your information, right? And I wanted the information to talk to people because if someone fills out the survey, then... They're probably a true fan and a avid listener of the podcast, right? Okay. And then a problem that might occur and they might not be giving out their email or listeners might not be giving out their email is because they might not want to give out their personal information, right? So if they don't want to give out their personal information, they're not going to give me their email. And then also they might be a really... Uh, fanatic listener of the podcast but they listen to it so much they don't feel the need to subscribe to the email list so they continue to stay anonymous right okay that's all I have for this episode 
Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Bye.